It is 6 a.m. and the sun is yet to rise in the town of Eunice, Louisiana. We are attempting to catch some operations on the Acadiana Railway, a short line railroad that has multiple operations here in the region. In front of me is AKDN number 4106, an ex-Canadian National GP9RM rebuild. This motor is used as the power to connect Eunice and Crowley to shuffle cargo between the two Union Pacific lines that sandwich this branch. I would wait about two hours, then I'd decide to give up on seeing this job work, so I'd move on to another. But before that, I had one thing to check out. Not far off from the 4106 is LTEX 2533. This unit is a GP35U locomotive that was, as you can see, a former workhorse for the Santa Fe. This unit has been just sitting here for several years without any movement. I assume that the motor is being used for spare parts or something like that, but I'm not entirely sure. But let's move on about 20 minutes down the road to Opelousas. First things first, I checked out Acadiana's and also SILX's locomotive shops. There are a lot of interesting units stored in here, but what stuck out to me was SILX number 102. This is a GP35 locomotive that once served my hometown short line railroad, the Louisiana and Northwest, and it is still in its original red and yellow paint. This unit was numbered 54. I heard some radio chatter from Acadiana somewhere, and I discovered the Opelousa switching job with the number 1500. This is the last locomotive, to my knowledge, that is still in the Gateway Western paint scheme. The Gateway operated between Kansas City, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, and Springfield, Illinois. Kansas City Southern took over their operations in 2001, and now the line hauls grain loads along with general merchandise freight. This locomotive is an EMD SW1500 switcher, built in 1973 for the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie. It would later be sold to the Chicago, Missouri and Western, a predecessor to the Gateway. Then it would be folded into the Gateway Western's roster and would primarily switch the yards. Eventually it wound up here in Louisiana on the Acadiana, where it has been a reliable workhorse for the short line. It has been working this Opelousa's job for over two years now but it has also worked on the Bunky to Vilplatt turn job for extended periods of time as well. Due to some time restrictions, I called it with this switching job. While I did not complete my initial objective with the Eunice job, I was glad to be able to capture this relic of the 1990s again. I'll definitely be making another attempt for the 4106 in the coming months, but until then, I'll see you somewhere out there on the rails, and as always, thanks for watching.